There are lots of useful keyboard shortcuts that you can use on your Chromebook. And if you'd like to bring up a listing of all of them, you can press Control, Alt, and question mark. And that will bring up the on-screen keyboard overlay. Once you have that up on your screen, you can hold down Control, and I can see the shortcuts that are associated with that. I can hold down Alt to see the shortcuts associated with that key. I can hold Control and Alt together to see those shortcuts. And there are also some shortcuts that are related to Shift and the search key, which is the key with the magnifying lens on it. If I want to hide that on-screen keyboard again, I'm going to press Control, Alt, question mark, and it will disappear. Some of the more useful keyboard shortcuts, if I want to view everything in my Google Drive and the files that are stored locally on my Chromebook, I can hit Alt, Shift, and M. And that will bring up the file cabinet. And here on the left-hand side, I can see the contents of my drive. And also anything that I've downloaded will show up there as well. And that would be on the internal storage of my Chromebook. And that is Alt-Shift-M. If you would like to take a screenshot of your Chromebook, what you can do is hold down Control and the Windows key, which is across the top of your Chromebook. It's right next to the brightness. And that will take a screenshot of your entire screen. If I want to take a screenshot of a region, so let me open up Chrome. What I can do is hold Control, Shift, plus the window key. And that will now allow me to drag and take a screenshot of a specific portion of my screen. To launch the applications that are pinned to your shelf, which are these across the bottom, so I have Chrome, Doc Hub, and Haiku, I'll just hold down Alt, and if I press the number two, it'll open up Doc Hub. And this is because this is the second from the left on my shelf. If I want to launch Haiku, this is the third from the left, so we have one, two, three. I'm gonna hold down Alt and the number three. And I can quick launch Haiku Learning. Another useful one is if you wanna turn the caps lock, that's Alt and the search button, which is the magnifying lens, and that'll turn the caps lock on. And if I press Alt and the search key again, it'll turn caps lock off. And then the last keyboard shortcut that I'm gonna demonstrate is the window snap. So I, if I hold Alt and the left bracket, it will move my window over to the left-hand side. And if I press Alt right bracket, it will move my open window to the right side. So I encourage you to check out the additional keyboard shortcuts and you can bring up that keyboard overlay by pressing Control, Alt, and question mark and then simply hold down the Control, Alt, Shift, or Search keys to see the additional shortcuts.